I lived in San Francisco. I'm originally from El Paso. I went to Isleta High School. I graduated in 94. Um, and after high school, I went away to college. Finally decided uh, to come back to El Paso. And living in San Francisco, there were farmer's markets everywhere. Every weekend, people just used to go and buy fresh vegetables. And it was really nice, you know. It was a nice way to get to know your neighbors. It was a nice way to, to be healthy. Um, it was a great thing to do on Saturday mornings. And when I came back to El Paso, I, I realized that we don't have farmer's markets here. And I started asking some questions. Um, and um, it, through talking to people, I realized that we don't have enough produce locally to, sor to source a farmer's market. And so we have very few farmer's markets. We have Ardovinos um, on the far west side and maybe some smaller markets here. I know my Yapan's trying to get one started. Um, but I felt like, you know, our community could really benefit from something like this. And so what I realized was that we needed to start a community garden. Um, but I didn't know a whole lot of people when I came back. Um, and then um, um, it just so happened that I got appointed as commissioner when Willie Gondara resigned. Um, and through that, um, it, it was just an opportunity to get to know all my neighbors really well. Um, to get to know some people like me who are interested in, in improving the community. Um, and I met, I met Maya, um, I met Phyllis, and um, they were both very interested in gardening. I know Maya um, wants to eventually open up a, a restaurant that um, is sourced from her own garden. And, um, and I thought that was really neat. And so just in talking to them, you know, I said, well, how about, you know, we work on getting a, a community garden started? And they said, sure, you know. And one thing led to another. And um, Maya um, just thought it would be great. She said she had a lot of land. And why didn't we use this land? And then, um, you know, I started really um, asking some questions. The county has a great community program um, in the AgriLife department. Um, any um, community member can call them up and get advice. They'll come over and diagnose your trees if they're dying. Um, they've got, you know, PhDs working there who know a lot about farming and gardening. Dr. Iglesias at um, the AgriLife department has been the one to really help us plan out the garden. He did all the measurements for the plots. He showed us how to install each bed has its own irrigation. Um, using another community program that the county has, um, which is the um, service of the juvenile probationers who do community service, we cleared out this whole lot um, over several weekends. The YMCA gave us a $500 grant uh, we painted the fence, um, we got the bales of hay donated, the pecan mulch was donated, and it just was something that came together um, through the work of everyone. It wasn't just one person, it was really everyone here on weekends. It's turning out to be a really nice space and we're just getting started, so it's exciting. It's really exciting. And I just, I just want everyone to feel welcome here and and to take pride in their communities, you know, and I'm hoping this is something that's going to that's going to help with that.